Hello and welcome to Solar Impulse TV. I'm Hansina Johnston and we're here because unfortunately the night flight uh, due to take place, due to take off this morning, has had to be postponed. So I'm joined by uh, our pilots here at Solar Impulse, Bertrand Picard and André Borchpeg. André, perhaps you could talk us through the events of the last 12 hours and why this has happened. The last almost 24 hours. 24 hours, yes. okay. Uh, before any flight, uh, we do a full checkup of the airplane. Uh, systems, flight controls, structure. And uh, of course, we take off only if everything works very well, because this airplane is flying very close to all the limits of the technology it uses. And yesterday afternoon, we discovered that this part here, which is critical for the mission, was not functioning properly. So you can imagine, in fact, the, uh, the excitations in the, uh, in the team. We try to find solutions. Uh, we tried to repair it, we tried to find another one. We find another one which we had uh, been brought from Germany with a special courier. Uh, it was brought to us, I think it arrived at 4 or 5 o'clock this morning, but uh, we were not able in fact to integrate in the system. It's not fully compatible, it takes a bit more time. So we had to take the decision to postpone our flight. But can I just ask you, exactly does this part do? Why is this part so crucial? You, you have to understand that the airplane is completely experimental. It's a type of airplane that has never flown in the past. So we need to assist the pilot from the ground, but we also need to assist the airplane itself. So this piece here has on one side strain gauges and captors on the airplane thousands of parameters and datas that go through this in order to be transmitted to the ground and to the team on the ground. The team will know about vibrations in the wings, about the position of the flight controls, about the efficiency of the solar cells, all the energy that gets in, all the energy that gets out. Basically, absolutely everything. The brain of the mission control is fed through this piece here. So, of course, if it doesn't work, uh, the, the mission control is blind. The pilot is alone, and basically we just have the radio to know what André is doing up there, but everything else is unknown. So we cannot afford uh, a situation like this, and uh, we had to take this difficult decision to, to postpone the flight. Of course, for us, it's a disappointment, but I think we worry even more for all the hundreds of people and guests and partners who, who are coming here and some of them could not be informed that uh, it was postponed so they're coming here and they're disappointed and it's I mean, a pity. A disappointment absolutely, We're, it really has been kind of a roller coaster ride. I mean André you mentioned that last night um, a piece came from Germany, I mean I was here obviously last night as well and there was one point where it was off and then somebody found a piece and I mean it's actually been really a roller coaster ride I imagine especially for you emotion wise. Yeah normally if you fly the following day you'd like to uh, calm down early, you'd like to go to bed early, you'd, uh, you'd like to have a good sleep but it was not possible because we really wanted to find a solution uh, quite late or well, finally I decided also to take a rest but you know the brain is he was keeping functioning for a long time, so it took me time, in fact, to fall asleep, but I did, but it was late. Okay, and then an early morning, I imagine. And Bertrand, uh, earlier on at the press conference, uh, and actually last night as well, when we weren't sure if it was on or off, in talking to the team, uh, you mentioned that it's been, since the beginning of the project, this is actually the first technical hitch, it's the first problem. Tell me, is that true? It's true that it's the first big problem we have that obliged us to, to postpone something or to really lose time. And, and it was surprising, I have to say, because in all the projects like this, it's a roller coaster. I think your word is absolutely perfect. It's, it's a series of disappointment, frustration before you can get to success. And then you have so much pleasure and joy in the success that it gives you enough energy to continue to have the next frustration and the next disappointment. And until now, it's, it's the first time, at least for this team here, that we have a big disappointment. And you said that you were having a conversation just recently with Andre about uh, uh, 
when do you think the disappointment will, will come? And exactly. You know, I, I said to André, after a lot of cancellations for the takeoff of the orbiter balloons, uh, two failures before the third attempt that was successful, I, I said to André yesterday, now welcome to the club. Right. Because we need to go through these frustrations in order to have the success. But if a project like this was easy, everybody else would have done it already. This is for sure. Well, we, are, we are very close to the limits of, uh, of all the technologies. If you take these parts here, it was, I mean, it's a special development to make it extremely light. I mean, you can see by yourself, in fact, the size. And as the weight matters in this airplane, that's true for every part. You know, when we say about structure parts, if they don't break during testing, it means that they may be too heavy. That's a little bit the same here, but unfortunately, sometimes you have to pay the price, and that's what we're doing today. And Maybe what we can say is that we look very much forward now to have as soon as possible the Swisscom technology uh, that they are developing for the second airplane. And uh, we're having really good collaboration with Swisscom and look forward to have their, their technology on board. I'm right. sure it will be reliable. Um, and um, I guess the big question on many people's mind now is when? <laughs> Um, we talked about obviously now this part needs to be looked at we need to look at rescheduling do you have any idea of what how long what sort of time period we're looking at we are we are working on these on these questions we also need to understand exactly what happened uh, because as we said it's an important part uh, in the airplane for the communication between the airplane and the ground so I think it's going to take us a couple of days I mean a couple of days I guess two three days at least uh, we should know more hopefully by the end of the day, what is the uh, solutions that we will choose. But uh, I mean, I cross my fingers and I hope that uh, we'll be able to do something next week. And because there's a limited window as well in terms of the time that this can happen, is that right? Uh, we have a limited window, that's true, because of course uh, we have uh, preferable uh, meteorology now during this part of the, uh, of the year and uh, July is, uh, is a very good month, so we'd like to use this month to do, and we plan to do two uh, flights through the nights, and we really will fight to, to make them successfully. Okay, and Bertrand, just finally to you, what does this mean for the project overall? For the project overall, it doesn't change anything, uh, because we know we're having some setbacks, we know we we'll lose time sometimes, we know that we have to uh, carry on, have enough perseverance. It's a 10 year long project, so if we lose a couple of days now, it's okay. I hope we don't lose an entire year, uh, because it's clear that if we get to the end of July without being able to make the, the night flight, then it's postponed to the next year. And uh, this, this would be a pity, but, you know, aviation didn't need just a couple of weeks to go from uh, the Wright brothers to the moon uh, landing. Uh, it's a lot of time, it's a lot of problems to be solved. It's, it's an adventure, you know. It's not a program where we know exactly what's going to happen. It's an adventure. We have a huge question mark on the horizon and we just try to reach it. And that's the reason why we do this prototype. We know we need to test everything, and this is part of the test, testing program. So that's, uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's, unfortunately, that's what you could expect, in fact, during this process. It's a learning process. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. So it is indeed a learning process, and at the moment, we don't have a specific time for the night flight to take off. But of course, we will have up-to-date information all the time on our blog. Stay tuned to solarimpulse.com.